Hey, what's up, YouTubers? Mr. Joe back with another video, and today I'm going to show you how to make a fire intro in Sony Vegas Pro 12. It looks pretty nice. Uh, most of the work is done by the pan crop, but it's going to look pretty cool. Anyways, I deleted the intro video off my desktop. I tried to find it, but I couldn't find it. Uh, but it's okay. The annotation link will pop up somewhere, and you guys will be taken to another tab, and you can view it. Uh, so how about we get started on this intro? Uh, first of all, open up Sony Vegas. Uh, like this, bamo. Now what we need to do is we need to add some atmospheric clouds, uh, atmospheric smoke, I guess, uh, to the left side of this. So like in this region right here. So we're gonna right click anywhere and click Insert Video Track. Okay. Once we have that done, we're gonna we're gonna go to Media Generators and we're gonna go to Noise Texture. There you go. Uh, now take the plasma, put it down there like so. The plasma is really good for smoky effects. Uh, go to color number one, click on that, and lower the opacity, so second tab, all the way to zero, like this. Now you can change this color to anything you want, but I found that a really dark orange looks nice uh, for like fiery smoke. So like right here, this type of color looks nice for fiery smoke. Anyways, you guys have that done now. Uh, now go to noise parameters and click, oh sorry, go to offset. Click this. Uh, now, if you're in Sony Vegas Pro 12, uh, you're going to need to click this. If you're in Sony Vegas Pro 11, you're going to need to click an animate button over here. But click this right over here, animate, and then uh, drag this timeline all the way to the end. Once that's like that, uh, hold down the progress and degrees bar and drag it all the way to the end like this. So what we just did was that we animated the little smoke effect, so like this. Uh, yeah, cool. Now, uh, go to pan crop, so right click on the plasma you just put in, and go to video event pan crop uh, once you're in here now in Sony Vegas Pro 12 you guys have this little cool convenient like oval and square tool but if you're in an older Sony Vegas all you have is this thing and that's okay you can get the same effect uh, so for Sony Vegas Pro 12 users go to this oval right here and just drag it on the end like this like this and drag it like this bam pretty good uh, now if you're in Sony, like I said an older one just hand hand make this uh, okay so once it's like this go to feather type and go to out. Now this is have to this is, has to go pretty high. So I'm gonna try out what 15 looks like. Yeah, 15. No, that's not good enough. Go to 30. Let's go a little bit higher and go to 35. This is good. I want to make it look like a real natural smoke effect. So if you have it like this, that's good. Uh, you can lower the opacity a little bit to help with it. It looks nice either way. So once it's like this, you're pretty good to go. Now what we need to do is we need to make it look like there's a fire in the bottom left column right here. So to do that, we're going to go to video event, uh, video effects, and we're going to go to bump map. And you could choose any one, but I'm going to choose a spotlight up. So put, drag the spotlight up effect onto the plasma like this, and you should get this little thing going on. As you can see, it looks like there's fire coming through the bottom left like this, and this is the the direction of the light like this. So. Uh, if you notice that the smoke is a little too dim for me, so we're going to increase the in intensity of our spotlight. So like this. Now, what we're going to need to do is we're going to make it look like the spotlight is like a flame burning in the bottom left column. So in order to do that, what we're, we're, we're going to need to do is we're going to click at the animate tool here or over here and click that and drag it a little bit forward and intensify it. Drag it a little bit more forward and decrease it increase decrease so what we're doing is we're making it flicker so the intensity level is changing and it's causing flickering so just keep on doing that dragging it a little bit forward flicker you can make it go real intense you know it's all up to you uh, no one's gonna have it the exact same way here so that's a good thing at least the intro is gonna be different for a lot of people uh, what I forgot to mention is that you're gonna have to download a file that's okay it's not that big it's in the it'll be in the description below like always uh, so I'm just going to keep on doing this until I get to the end. Just change, just going forward and changing it every now and then. Uh, like that. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. So now if we watch this, uh, we can see that the light flickers. The smoke changes, the light changes, the moving smoke really adds to it. You guys see that? It looks pretty neat. Uh, I'm going to increase the opacity all the way up. There you go. Now. What we need to do is we need to add the, some of the files that I gave you guys. So right click anywhere and go to insert video track. Go to explore. You're going to open up the file that I gave you. Uh, we're going to go with side flare right now. So get the side flare, put it on top of the plasma, and just click yes. Uh, and it should pop up like this. 
So drag it till the end of the plasma like this and go to the compositing mode like this and click that and go to add. Bam. Uh, now drag drag the flare layer underneath the plasma layer. I forgot to mention that. Uh, it looks like this now. And we're going to decrease... Actually, no. We're going to go to the pan cropped for the flare. So go on the pan cropped. And we're going to drag it a little bit to the right. Like this. This looks nice. Uh, there, that looks nice. There you go. Uh, decrease the opacity for the flare because I noticed that's a little too bright most of the time. It's like about 62%. And now it does the same effect. It just adds a nice little optical flare to the side. Now it's like this. We're going to right click again. I want to insert video track. I want to drag it to the bottom of everything. And then we're going to go back to explore. I click the embers one. This is pretty cool. I made it in After Effects and just drag it underneath everything else. And you're going to get this effect right here. So right click on it and go to properties and click reduce, uh, maintain aspect ratio and re disable resample. Like this. So now it's going to be like this. Now we're going to click on the end and we're going to hold down control and just drag it a little bit like halfway in. And now we're going to drag this a little bit forward like this. And bam. Just make sure everything matches up. So now if we watch this, we can see that the flares, those little embers are coming up from the bottom. And it looks real nice. Now you can't change the color of the embers. I actually recommend it because the embers are a little bit too too white for my taste. Uh, so <laughs> we're going to go to video effects and we're going to go to color curves. Sorry, we're going to go to color corrector. Uh, now that we're here, we're going to go to default and put it on the embers. Like this. Now change the embers to a little bit of red, and, like a red-orange color. That's a good one. The whole thing is pretty red-orange. Uh, there you go. There, that's real good. So it gives it that burning effect, like it's you know alive and burning. Now right click anywhere and go to insert video track. Uh, now drag this all the way to the bottom and right click uh, in track number four and go to insert text media. Click that uh, right here. Now you can use any font you want. I recommend a bold font, uh, but type in your YouTube username or whatever you want to type in like this. Once it's like this, what you need to do is you need to change the font, obviously, to something bold. Uh, the font I really like to use, I've been using a lot in my videos, is Jack's Candlestick. This one's real nice. You guys can't see it, but it looks nice. Trust me. Uh, change the co Okay, now change the text color to zero. What I mean by that is change the opacity to zero. So click on text color and second tab and put that to zero. And now go to advanced in Sony Vegas Pro 12. And click the background right here and increase the background opacity all the way up like this. Okay? Now you can't see it over here, that's okay. It's, it's gonna do that. So once everything's like this, what you need to do is you need to make all of these tracks add. So we're gonna right click. We're sorry. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna right click on uh, track number three and we're gonna go to the compositing mode and we're gonna go to add. There you go. Now you can probably see the little outline of our text, maybe. So only make the embers add. Like the compositing mode add for embers only. Once it's like this, uh, we're going to increase our text so it matches up with everything else. And what we're, what we're going to do next is we're going to add a little bit of background. So go back to Explore tab. And this image will be given to you uh, in the description, like I said, the lava texture. And drag it underneath the Mr. Jubble for me, underneath your username. Like this. And you're going to get this effect. That's okay. You can tell it's out of line. So we're going to go pan cropped for the Mr. Jubble. Uh, for you, it will be something else like this. And we're going to zoom out a little bit. Make sure these two are selected. And we're going to make it a little bit smaller. That's okay. We'll fix that later. And we're going to drag it a little bit to the right like so. Now it's like this. We're going to click on this. We're going to go back to, the, we're going to go back to this basic screen. And we're going to go to pan cropped for our lava layer, this thing right here. So go to the pan crop right here. Make sure these two are selected and zoom out a little bit and drag it a little bit like this. So we're making the text pop up. Uh, now what I noticed was that this pan cropped is this maintain this aspect ratio is wrong. So right click on the lava and go to properties and go to maintain aspect ratio and disable resample and, and yeah uncheck maintain aspect ratio and disable resample select and then it does this thing. That's okay. Go back to the pan crop for the lava layer. And just drag it a little bit to the left, like so. This is great. Uh, now you could drag the you could drag the Mr. Jubble anywhere you want, or in your case, your you know username anywhere you want. But I think this looks nice. 
we're gonna go back to video effects and we're gonna go back to bump map bump map right here and we're, we, you can click any one of these I'm gonna choose I'm gonna choose lower left spotlight and drag it onto your lava layer this gives the lava layer a nice 3d look uh, so we could drag this flare anywhere we want I'm gonna choose right here as you can see it gives us some texture like so uh, so now if you just drag this a little bit more make sure everything matches up you can see that this is our basic intro the embers are coming up mr. Jubble. it's real stationary and that's okay because all the work is done with the pan cropped so right now you're just making the whole effect and it looks pretty nice it looks nice uh, so once it's like this uh, what you can do the thing that I did in my intro was I added a little bit of glint to my to my uh, embers uh, but I don't think this intro needs it that much so I'm not gonna add the embers but of course uh, you can add the glint and glints right here just add it to your embers and it'll come up it, it makes it look shiny I don't think it looks very good so I'm not gonna do it now what we need to do is we need to render this whole thing out so drag this thing right here this is uh, the I don't know what it's called actually the render line mm, I don't know the yellow I just call it the yellow line I drag it over everything okay and now you want to render this so go to file render as and render it somewhere you're gonna remember like your desktop or like a special drive but I'm gonna render it onto my desktop so right here so save uh, untitled is good but you could title it uh, base intro like so and just click render uh, oh it's called the render it's called the loop region cool I'll just render that so I'm gonna and render yep I guess right now would be a pretty good time to plug in my gaming channel I've been working really hard on it I, I upload three videos a week uh, Monday Wednesday and Friday uh, the link will be in the description of my channel and you're gonna see it again at the end of the video anyways uh, you know check it out uh, I don't think it's gonna be the cup of tea for everyone but it's not that bad uh, so yeah that's pretty much it that's what I'm going to plug in and we're gonna finish up this intro in like five seconds as soon as this does as soon as this gets done rendering uh, I had a lot of coffee which is why I sound odd or maybe I don't know if I do or not anyways uh, go to file and go to new to clear all this stuff out save changes uh, no yes now go back to wherever you rendered your video base intro right here and drag that in and as you can see this is our deal it's a five second uh, ten second intro and yeah so now right click on this right click on the, the video and go to pancraft okay once we're here we're gonna make sure these two are selected we're gonna zoom in I want to start from the bottom like so so you're gonna wait what you're doing now is basically you're adding camera shake to everything so we want to make it so I'm gonna give you a rough idea how it's gonna be shaking over here it's gonna move over here it's gonna get in between here and then it's gonna go up here all in the smoke and then at the very end it's gonna come up onto your text and it's gonna zoom out a little bit so the resolution doesn't look that bad like this it's gonna zoom out more like this to get the whole view of the whole scene uh, now my mr. double is a little bit too much to the right uh, I messed up but that's okay uh, so now let's get started with the camera shake shall we so zoom in make it it's real small about this side so only the embers are showing and I'll drag a little bit forward add camera shake add a little bit of tilt tilt always looks nice drag a little bit forward now remember to go a little bit to the left drag a little bit more forward now you can make it zoom in and zoom out at the same time just don't make it go too big so go forward drag it over here just a little bit of freaking swivel action zoom in zoom out go forward bam a little bit of zoom in zoom out make it go a little bit over here you want to make sure that uh, your camera is not stationary it needs to be moving a lot uh, it makes the intro more active because you don't want a stationary intro stationary stationary intros are really boring uh, anyways so zoom in zoom out you can zoom it zoom out a little bit more add a little bit of this camera shake a little bit of tilt action go forward again we're gonna go over here zoom in like so bam okay we just want to make it look as confusing as possible for the viewer the viewer needs to the viewer does not know what's freaking going on so that's what we need to you know we want to make them confused because all they hear is like a heavy drumming and some embers floating around I don't have the sound effects because I do not own the rights to sound effects and I can't just give them to you um, but yeah so drag a little bit forward just add a little bit of camera shake 
zoom in, zoom out. You probably noticed that these keyframes are a lot apart. That's okay. We'll equal that out later. There you go. Bam. A little bit of this camera shake. Boom. Bam. <laughs> Sorry, guys. But, you know, this is keyframing. Keyframing is probably the most boring part I've ever done in Sony Vegas. Uh, but, you know, it's a necessary part. It makes stuff look nice. Okay, I messed up here. Delete the last keyframe for me, at least. Now that you're near the end, what you want to do is you want to catch a glimpse of your, your Mr. Jubble, what your username. And you want to correct everything. And you want to make it go back to the center, like so. And you want to zoom out. You just want to give the viewer like a, about like, I would say, you want to give the viewer uh, like two to three seconds to look at your name, like so. Now we've got to equal out all these keyframes, so make sure they're all in equal length. Uh, there you go. Okay. Alrighty then. Just a little bit like this. Nothing too fancy. I'm really bad at equaling keyframes, so some of you might be better at this than me. Anyways, I'm going to call this equal even though it's really not. Uh, hold down control and click all the keyframes you just made. Okay, so click, every oh god. <laughs> Hold on control and click all the keyframes you just made. Uh, so I'm doing that right now. Uh, be very careful not to click the timeline because it's going to mess everything up. This is like doing surgery with your mouse. It's terrible. Uh, there you go, almost done. Okay, once you have all of them selected, you could let go of control and right click on one of the keyframes and click slow okay so now if we watch this we can see this is what this is what happens uh, the camera is zooming in on the flares it goes back to the little fire looking effect it go it follows them up a little bit you know it's confusing for the viewer they don't know what's going on so it's doing its thing nothing interesting here and it's gonna zoom out here and give you a glimpse of mr. jubble there you go. Like I said, the last two or three seconds, the person sees what your name actually is. Uh, now what we need to do, we're going to add the last part. We're almost done. We're going to add some defocus to it because, you know, cameras defocus. Uh, so right click, go to insert video track and go to video effects. And now we got to go to defocus right here. Uh, you can choose any defocus you want. I'm going to go with the circle moderate bloom. Let's put that on top. Okay. And click the radius one animate. Bam. So we're going to go forward a little bit, you know, decrease the floor all the way to zero. Let go even lower. Let go up. Forward. Bam. Forward. Bam. All the way to zero. It stays at zero for a little bit. It goes up a little bit. You know, again, the keyframe stuff, it's very boring, but it's a necessary part of making your things animated because if you don't have them animated they're freaking boring bam man now of course this intro is 10 seconds long but you can't lower it to five seconds it's all up to you guys uh but i'm just giving you the basic outline of what you need to do we're almost done here guys so do not worry bear with me i know sony vegas is not the most exciting program in the world but it does make some cool stuff uh the last couple of seconds, like I said, are completely yours for your YouTube name. Uh, bam. So now if we watch this, we're done here. You don't need do anything else. Uh, if we watch this intro, we could see the blur. It focuses in on the embers. Uh, bam. Look at that. Zoom out. A little bit of blur. Looking at the stuff. Ah. Uh, and then look at that. That looks very cool. If you notice right over here, uh, right here, the blur gets real intense. So it makes the reds really come out. It looks very nice. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my video. And if you did, uh, please subscribe and leave a comment on what you think. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all. Thank you guys for watching and goodbye.